technology talent has been one of the big hot buttons for the industry. And when it came specifically around tech talent, there was a lack of an outside in brand perception, uh, which could really diagnose which companies did technology talent want to go after. More importantly, what was also emerging as we were doing this research is that we found a bit of a disconnect between what the leadership saw or thought the employees wanted versus what the employees truly wanted. So we came up with this ability to do an outside-in proxy, as we call it, right? Where we are looking at data across different markets to develop a point of view on key employee value proposition levers. And then Mihir will share with you all the awesome science he's done to convert that into a bit of a composite score across, across rating. We look at this across five dimensions, right? Mihir, why don't you kind of talk through the various uh, information sources we looked at to get to the results? So to determine the perception ratings, we mined a number of employee forums, social media, professional media, and gathered ratings, reviews, and feedbacks. Some of the representative data sources are as mentioned on this slide. We compiled thousands of data points and analyzed these across industries and geographies. We developed an analytical engine to aggregate the perception ratings. And finally, we ingested all this analyzed data points into the model to calculate the perception rating for all the parameters that Jimit, you mentioned on the previous slide. Having an outside in a, you know, approach is, is really great because it's, it's one very real you know, view of what people are talking about and what they are hearing and how they are, you know, how they are building perception and perception is reality, right? So it's very, very important for us to, uh, to look at also being benchmarked with other organizations who are in similar space. So I do find it extremely valuable and having participated in the Everest uh, GCC survey for um, the last few years, I, you know, we do a lot of deep dive into the study. We map areas of improvement uh, with our existing practices and identify a lot, you know, gaps wherever we see. So this multi-dimensional outside in perspective really helps us to design people, you know, experiences because your work models are changing. The employee needs are changing. You know, how, you know, people externally are perceiving you, uh, you know, is changing as well. Uh, so, you know, any information that helps us to constantly look within. What I really like about this one is that the point of view it takes is a data-driven one, not just, you know, one that, you know, you get a small focus group together and discuss, because I do think that that skews data. So I very, or skews outcomes. I very much appreciate um, the breadth uh, and the, you know, the, well, really the breadth, if you look across all of those forums in which you've looked at. Mihir ran a lot of analysis in terms of what drives strong correlations with high ratings. So what you have in dark green are issues that were contributing to these rates, uh, to these results across 22 and 23, right? So last assessment and this assessment, that's the dark green one. The light green ones are newer issues that are driving correlation in 2023. Not surprisingly, clear career path visibility is the number one theme that's also kind of showing up there. Hey, this is what attracts talent. Yeah. Um, if you if you look at what I'd say, you know, three more that are kind of on this page, which seem to be at the same level of uh, correlation are competitive comp, holistic benefits, and upskilling. 